Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about types of ad hoc routing protocols. This topic is present in the subject ad hoc and wireless sensor networks. Routing process. Routing is the process of establishing a path between the sender and the receiver nodes for transmitting the packet along the path. Introduction to routing. An ad hoc network is a collection of mobile nodes forming a network without the help of any centralized administration. Usually, mobile hosts use wireless radio frequency transceivers for communicating with other mobile nodes. Since Mobile nodes are not fixed and the changes in the network topology from time to time. Establishing a communication path between two nodes is a big challenging one. Routing representation analogy is shown here. The vehicle starts from the source has to reach the destination. For reaching the destination, the vehicle may take several routes. That is, the vehicle may take optimum path to reach the destination. Here is, it has been represented. Let us see the routing analogy example as postal network. Here, the sender sends the mail. That is, it may be here letter or it may be a parcel. First, the parcel or the letter has to reach the post office. Then from the post office, it has been carried by the input central processing center. From the input processing center, it has to be carried to the output central processing center. From that, reaches the delivery office. From the delivery office, it reaches the receiver of the postal mail. In this manner, the information that is available from the sender reaches the receiver with the help of the routing protocols. We will discuss the routing protocols in detail in the further slides. Let us see the routing protocol analogy. Here is the representation of the analogy for routing protocol. In this diagram, the ants find their path and they are easily avoiding the obstacles. This is a simple analogy for considering the routing protocol. Here is an another representation related to the ant. In this, the ant can create a path though sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. This is represented here. The routing analogy is represented here. In this diagram, the network is analogous to the street name. The host can be analogous to the building number. A router can be analogous to crossing. Routing table can be analogous to direction signs. Packets can be analogous to taxi with the passenger. Destination IP address is analogous to the street address. Mobile ad hoc networks routing representation. Here is a representation for the mobile ad hoc network. The ad hoc network is in moving condition. The path that takes by the packet from the source to the destination is indicated here. The information that is available from the source side has to be reached to the destination. In what way it is reaching to the destination is known as the routing. That is with the help of the routing, the information from the source reaches the destination. Here is a another representation of the routing. Here 
we have a military or disaster recovery operations. The information from the source reaches the destination in these ways. The commercial applications is shown here. Routing concept. Different types of routing protocols are widely used to discover a path between two nodes and take the responsibility of routing the packet to the intended destination with minimized delay, efficient bandwidth consumption and maximizing reliability. Since two hosts wishing to exchange packets cannot be able to communicate directly, some form of routing protocol is necessary to release the packets between the nodes. When the destination is a few hops away from the source node, multi-hop communication needed to be used for establishing path between the source and the destination. Types of ad hoc routing protocols. Ad hoc routing protocols can be broadly classified into three categories, namely proactive or table driven routing protocols, reactive or on demand routing protocols, and hybrid routing protocols. Proactive routing protocols. Proactive routing protocols are also called as table driven routing protocols in which each node maintains a routing table. Routing table contains up to date routing information of the entire network. Whenever a node wants to send a packet to the receiver node, it looks up its own routing table to find the routing path from itself to the intended receiver. These routing tables have to be updated periodically to maintain the current stable or available paths. This can be achieved by exchanging or broadcasting the periodic beacon signals between the nodes. Therefore, each node can have the knowledge about the complete network topology. Hence, each node can update its routing table based on the background signal it has received from the neighbor signal. Advantage of proactive routing protocol. Minimum time is required to find out a route for data transmission. Disadvantages of proactive routing protocol. Due to the frequent change of network topology, the exchange of up-to-date information has to be done periodically. Network overload is high. Bandwidth consumption is high in large networks. This type of protocol is not suited for large networks. Various proactive routing protocols. The various protocols which use the concept of proactive routing are as follows. First is Destination Sequence Distance Vector Routing Protocol, DSTV. Second is Wireless Routing Protocol, WRP. Third is Cluster Head Gateway Switch Routing Protocol, CGSR. Fourth is Fish Eye State Routing. Reactive Routing Protocols. Reactive routing protocols are also called as on-demand routing protocols. In this type of routing protocols, each node determines the routing path whenever it is ready for transmitting data to other node in the network. Unlike proactive routing protocols, no node maintains a routing table. Routing paths are discovered only when required, that is on-demand. In order to find a route, the sender node has to broadcast a route discovery control messages to neighbor nodes until receiving a reply from the intended receiver. Advantages of reactive routing protocols are as follows. First is 
it needs to broadcast less control messages for discovering route when required. Second, the network overhead is low. The third advantage is it is suitable for a large network. Fourth is the bandwidth wastage is low in reactive routing protocols. Disadvantage of reactive routing protocols. The time taken to discover your route is non-predictable. It may take a longer time if the proper route is not available. This is one of the disadvantage in reactive routing protocol. The list of the various reactive routing protocols are as follows. The protocols which use reactive routing concept are first one. Dynamic Source Routing Protocol DSR. Second is Ad Hoc On Demand Routing Protocol AOD. Third, Temporarily Ordered Routing Algorithm TORA. T -O -R -A. Fourth is Location Aided Routing LAR. Fifth is Associativity Based Routing ABR. Sixth is Signal Stability Based Routing Protocol. And the last one is flow oriented routing protocol. Hybrid routing protocols. Hybrid routing protocols combine the features of both proactive and reactive routing protocols. In this hybrid protocol, the network is divided into zones. Each node uses node ID and zone ID during packet transmission. Data transmission can be carried out to other zones using border nodes of a zone. Advantages of hybrid routing protocol. It requires less memory and processing power. It integrates reactive and proactive routing advantages. These are the major advantages of hybrid routing protocol. Disadvantage of hybrid routing protocol. If the border nodes move away, then re establishing a path takes long time. This is the major disadvantage of hybrid routing protocol. Types of a hybrid routing protocol are as follows First is core extraction distributed ad hoc routing protocol. Second is zone routing protocol and the third is zone based hierarchical link state routing protocol thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends thank you